Realtor.com's market hotness report currently shows Sacramento as the seventh, yes, seventh hottest market nationally. The number one spot goes to San Jose, which is becoming the hub of technology. Huh? It is the hub of technology. That Redwood City in that area, but San Jose is cooking. In this report, you can drill down to by county and in California, Sacramento County is ranked number four as very hot with hotness score of 97.78. Nationally, Placer County ranked number 29, but statewide, it came in at number eight. Also as very hot. Next, we have El Dorado County ranking at number 63 nationally and number 19 in California with a hotness ranking of hot. And the outlook is that it's gonna stay that way for a while yet. This report also shows that compared to the first half of the year in August of last year, this market is hot and is continuing to heat up proven by the fast market, increasing home values, and low, low inventory. I'm sure all of you are experiencing the buyer struggling to find suitable homes. Our pre-approved clients either have a home identified when they first call or seem to be looking for a longer period of time before they can successfully get into contract. It's gonna make an interesting fourth quarter as fewer homes usually come on the market during the holidays, but this year with the buyer pool out there waiting, we may see more sellers continue to take advantage of the seller's market environment. Take every opportunity you can to remind those would-be buyers that the fall and winter is, in my mind, one of the very best times to buy a home. Now for minding your own business. Every business wants to stretch the marketing dollars as far as possible. For 10 years in a row, email is the channel generating the highest ROI. For every $1 spent, email marketing generates $38 in ROI as a general statistic across industries. But the burning question I hear all the time is, how often should I send my database an email? Most aren't sending one at all. Others may be once a month. The old data suggested that you're gonna see more unsubscribers if you send one email per month versus one email per week. Today, it's more industry specific. The best answer to this question is to test it out. Timing is just as important. Try sending off peak hours or on a Saturday rather than a weekday. Make sure you're giving your readers what they want, when they want it, make it relevant to them so that they want to see it. Once you have your message understood and the timing down, then you can determine the frequency with more accuracy. All it takes is time and watchful eye but it's worth considering it has the highest conversion rate and ROI of any other marketing you can do. Well, that's it for this week's edition of the Real Estate Insider Weekly. Thank you for joining me again. Have a great day.